Hi, I'm Danny Myers. Welcome to another episode of Strip Club U. Today, I want to talk to the feature performers, the showgirl competitors, the pole dance competitors, and I want to give you some tips on how you can improve your show. I will start by saying I'm not here to teach you how to do pole work or floor work or anything like that, because Lord knows if this old guy tried to get up on a pole, I'd probably break a hip. But you see, I have seen thousands of feature performances, showgirl competitions, etc., all in my lifetime. And I do want to give you some tips on how you can improve your show by improving the music that is under your show. You see, I have seen thousands of feature performances, pole competitions, showgirl competitions, etc. And I've seen some incredible shows with weak music that I know had to affect the judges' scores and the audience reaction. So what I want to do today is give you my five tips for feature performers on getting your music ready for a show or a competition. Tip number one, get your music from a high-quality source. The quality of your music is in competition with the surrounding music. Now, just because your music sounds good on your phone or on your laptop does not mean it's going to sound good on a big club system. Music is energy, and if it's muffled or quieter than the last song the audience heard, the energy of your show can suffer. Get your music from a high-quality source, and FYI, YouTube is not a high-quality source. Tip number two, pay attention to your audio levels. You know, in a perfect world, you'll have a professional DJ playing your music at the event, but that is not always the case. Some clubs don't have a DJ. Some clubs have an automated computer system that will play your songs. So if you have low levels, your music will play low. Look at your audio levels throughout your entire set and make sure that all of your individual songs match. Tip number three, transitions. I am not a fan of beat mixing on a feature show, meaning where your songs are blended together so well that you can't tell that the song changed. In my opinion, on a feature show, you want it obvious that the song changed. Open strong, close strong. What I mean by that is open with something that's really going to grab your audience's attention and bring them into your show. And close strong, try to end your set with a crescendo type ending rather than a long drawn out fade out. Tip number four, the final mix. Look at your wave file. Your ultimate goal is to have your set as loud as you can make it without distortion. This is especially true if the club that you're performing at has one of those automated DJ systems. So this way, your set will come across a little bit louder than everybody else's. And they're gonna kill me for telling you that. Also, take your final mix to your home club. Listen to it on the big system and listen to it compared to other music on that system. Check your audio levels. Make sure there's no distortion. And finally, tip number five, save your file the right way. The last thing you want to do is get to your performance to find out that your audio file won't play on that club's system. So save your file as an MP3, 320 kbps stereo. That is the standard. Also, make sure you name your file with your stage name and the show name. The last thing you want is to get on stage and the wrong music is playing. So there you have it, my five tips for feature performers on getting your music ready for a show or a competition. I'm Danny Myers. Thanks for watching Strip Club U.